Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Grant, and quite frankly, I'm not proud of myself. I did you a disservice. If I promise you something, I'm supposed to go out of my way to keep my end of the promise. I'm a man of my word, and I always have been. When we started this channel, when we started our channel, I promised you a Let's Play channel with a difference. And quite frankly, I went back and I listened to that commentary on the very first episode, and well... Exactly proud of how things turned out. However, what I can say is, I'm a lot more confident in the commentary of episode two. But that's the thing, your first time is always a cock up job. So, let's play channel with a difference. That is exactly what you're getting. Coming at you with 110% energy, let us begin this episode today with a brief recap of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna. The Golden Country. Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna the Golden Country. We met Laura, a young, happy mercenary whose partner Jin has a little bit of a moody thing about him. Moody thing? Yes, yes, Jin, I said that. I said you got a moody thing. What's good? Anyways, they practically borderline adopted Mikhail. A young boy who is very timid and tends to say <gasps> a lot. The trio came across the Adam Origo, the lord of a letter, and fourth in line to the throne of Torna, and his partner Mithra, a rowdy, boisterous, and quite frankly outspoken blade. Course is the word. Thanks, Adam, who commands an artifice known as Siren. Adam and Mithra were reunited with Milton, who had been saved by Laura's other blade, Hayes, who then joined Laura's retinue. With Laura seeking the whereabouts of her mother and Adam on the hunt for Malos, the Dark Aegis, the newly forged team proceed toward Yanchik Harbor, unknowingly being watched from the shadows by the man responsible for stealing Jin's core crystal some 17 years ago, now going by the alias Bluefist. Hello everybody, it's Grant, and you are joining us once again in the world of All Rest for Episode 2 of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, The Golden Country. So, previously where we left off, we encountered the first few characters of our party. We have Laura, we have Jin, we have Hayes, we also went into battle against Adam and Mithra, who have decided to join our squad. And in today's episode, I would like to get our, ooh, shock plot spoiler, third team. Yes, that's right, you heard. There's a third team in this game. I know, I'm surprised too. I'm not really surprised because it's the best team in this game. We will be using Laura throughout the vast majority of this playthrough, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that uh, because, you know, I felt like sharing. We also got Mithra some clothes. Yay! Because she deserves it. She's a good girl. Bitter a bitch, but she deserves it. So, here we have Uka's Trail. But, if you remember last time, I said that we have an insatiable bloodlust. So, we're going to start today off with a nice bit of scrapping, a nice bit of fighting. So, bang. There we go. Nice. Let's build it up with Jin. Topple. Nice. Right. Yeah. Haha. -ha. I also said...
Hey. We'd be more than happy to assist. First main story quest. Like officially. You've just received a quest. Well done you. Quests can broadly be divided into main story quests and regular quests. This one is a main story quest. It means it's required to progress through the game's story. Its objective appears on the compass as a pink exclamation mark, exclamation mark icon. You remember what I told you about last week when we were, yeah, you know, anyway. Many people put out in the world. I can't read today. Ha ha, let's go back again. Blah, 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 blah. Many people out in the world have troubles. They'd appreciate your help with those characters will have a blue question mark icon above their heads. Side quests. Remember what I said last week about, oh, side quests build community, community features, what we need to progress through game. Yes, that's where this comes into play. Speak to them and they'll explain the situation regarding requesting blah 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 blah. Again, I can't read. Requesting your assistance with something. That's how regular quests work. Resolving their issues will surely move them to reward you with a nice gift in return. Requests. Oh, I can't. I cannot read today. Why? Regular quests are not necessary to progress through the game's story and are not. That is a blatant lie. That is a blatant lie for Torn of the Golden Country. I am calling you out and I will drag you kicking and screaming across the street if you tell me otherwise. Regular quests are not are necessary to progress through the game's story and are marked on the compass with blue icons. Remember that, it's important. Now then, use Hayes' powers to get rid of the ether miasma here. Right, let's fight. I think we've been spotted. If you meet the requirements for activating it, you can press right to do so. Check the conditions and effects of talent arts. Oh, to check it, visit the enhance art method. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot read. We've established this. I'm just going to keep saying that every time I goof up. So, talent arts, these are the new thing that we've got in battle now, have very powerful effects, but can come with significant downsides as well. Be sure to consider how and when to use them to get the most benefit. Right, so, if we press right, we can do Swallow's Flight. This is Laura's talent art. It halves her HP, but it gives her arts recovery charge. So, I'm going to do that, and then... I'm going to recover. So, attacking, healing your team and other actions which your foes consider undesirable will make the characters perform them. Wait, wait. Oh, I can't even read. I wish I could read today. Today is not a good day. Attacking, healing your team and other actions which your foes consider undesirable will make the characters performing them accrue a value called aggro. Aggro is accumulated individually by each team, and enemies will attack the team with the highest... Well... Oh... Enemies will attack the team with the highest aggro. I say that like it's my first time playing, but I mean, there's still things that I'm learning, even on my third playthrough at Torn of the Golden Country. To manage, wait, try to manage your aggro so that teams with low HP or the ones with low defense values don't get targeted. Reining in attacks for a time is a useful technique. Right, so, Swallow. Yes, nice one, Jin. Jin's awesome. We stand Jin. Get ready for round two. Hey. I hate spiders, but these are all right. Right, so. I'm going to do that. Hey, nice. This is good. Oh, we're doing nice today. Battle-wise, we're doing great. Nice. Nailed it. I just can't talk today. Titans, the great continents of all rest are living beings, and the one of the waste products they generate manifests as ether miasma. They poop clouds of evil. Right. 
Ether miasma tends to attract monsters, so removing it isn't the safest of occupations. It is, however, rewarding, as doing so unlocks a new collection point each time. Clearing away the miasma requires the right field skills. These can be accrued, acquired, and improved by unlocking the right nodes on Blade's affinity charts. So you remember how I was saying last time, about the field skills and how they're probably going to be the bane of my existence that begins officially now the ether bends as i will it Yeah. Great. Another problem solved. Carrying on. Uh, we're level 12 and 10. We don't really need to fight. Oh, I do, however, want to settle an old score. Come on. These guys should be no problem. I won't enjoy this. Let's speed this up. Yeah. Yeah. Senses are heightened. Indeed. Spinning wheels. Yeah. It's my turn. Oh, we've got this. This is easy. Right. Okay. So, swap into haze and use. Nice. Right, brilliant. So, we've fallen in battle, but can you see the very top left gauge how we've got two light blue segments? Now we've got one. Well, as long as we've got one of those fulfilled, a teammate can revive us. So Adam picked us back up. Thanks, buddy. Headwind, nice. Right, so remember what we do when we get one of these? We go to the character's affinity chart and we unlock. You can rely on me to aid you. That particular node. Just to make sure nobody else has unlocked anything. Let's use it wisely. And that's why we always go through as characters. There we go. We did good. Right, while I'm here as well, Laura's affinity chart. So she's got skill points, 522, and we should really start focusing on unlocking some of these nodes. Right. Uh, art assigned to B, 20% damage. Let's use an art after cancelling that one. Give me that. Right. Increase agility by 20. Must have that. Been improved. Right. So the way this works is I can only unlock that one if I've got obviously the required amount of skill points, but at the same time, I need to be able to have the node before it unlocked. Like for instance, if I wanted to unlock quick fire combo, I've got to have horn honed reflexes unlocked. How it doesn't work is I can't go strong and supple into quick fire combo, even though these are connected through super healing. It has to be the one before it. That makes sense, right? 
I think I did a good job explaining that one. What's good? Allows you to use the art assigned to X at the start of battle. I'm coming along in leaps and bounds. Gimme. There we go. So because we unlocked two of the nodes on Laura's affinity chart, we actually unlocked the second row. So now when we do actually get 1,500 combat, well, current skill points, then that means that we'll be able to actually get the quick fire combo. So we'll be able to cancel from one art into another art, into another art, into a special, into a blade swap. Well, actually, no, we won't be able to do that. We'll be able to cancel from one art into another art, into another art, into doing a blade switch, into doing their arts, into doing a special. It's quite crafty. It's a meticulous battle system. But that's why we love Xenoblade. It's very good. Very good, darling. Right. So we have on Adam Origo's chart. Uh, allows art assigned to X. Increases strength by 20. Increases luck by 20. Increases maximum HP by 200. Increases agility by 20. I want that one. Work hard enough and our efforts won't be in vain. And this one. More to add to my repertoire. Yeah. Nice. We got it. So then with that, increase the critical damage by 10. Uh, boost the specials. Uh, recharge by 20%. Cancel. Yep. You know you can read too. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's use an art after cancelling an attack art. We need that one for Adam. His is nowhere near as expensive as what Laura's is. And that's pretty cool. Then we've got uh, boost strength by 10% and allows you to use the art assigned to Y at the start of battle. We will play around with that a little bit more. But for now, what I want to do is I want to go to Laura. I want to go to Enhance Arts. And I want to switch. I'm going to put Hungry Snake up on the X button. Because if you have a look at our affinity chart again... I unlock the node for assigning the art to X, being able to be used at the start of battle. We worded it weird, but you know what I mean. So as soon as battle begins, I'll be able to use that. So I will be able to immediately get the break trigger. Hopefully. In most cases, anyway. And then, of course, Jin comes in with a topple, and it's great. Sweet! That's the master plan. So, let's carry on. And we have a side quest. A simple errand. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. This'll be fine. Ooh, the goodwill Laura and her friends create is known as community. The foundation of community is talking to the many and various inhabitants of all rest. Speak to a person and you'll learn their name, job, and location. You can always check the information by going to the community menu found in your main menu. Talk to everyone you can and expand your community. Resolve an issue of a person listed in the community menu is struggling with and they'll give you a token of their support for you. Collect a lot and your community will grow stronger. Raising the community level will cause more quests to become available and also allow you to progress through the main story. But hey, apparently side quests are not that important to be able to progress through the goddamn main story. Thanks a lot, hypocritical tutorials. What's God? 
when it comes, what goes around comes around. Karma's a bitch. What's good? Spreading the community, let's uh, spread blah, 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 blah. Spread in the community spirit lets Laura, Jin, and their allies make their mark on the world. Doing good for the benefits of all rest is its own reward. Oh, and one more thing. The menu is automatically opened every time someone's info is added to the community screen. But that can be disabled by turning on Skip Community Registration in the main menu, System, Options, Game Settings. This option is recommended for people who want to build community quickly. Well, we're here to have fun. So, this is the community menu, and this is the first guy. So he's located on Torna, as we can quite blatantly see. But if we get him, if we do his mission, he will join our big blue circle of happiness. So, his name is Kame. He's a gardener's son. He's probably got a Yorkshire accent, and he's from Yanchikaba. Simple errand, right? New tips have been added. So, can you see where we've got the blue exclamation mark? And we've just passed 300, very top of the screen. Uh-huh. And counting down. That is our side quest. Yes, Laura, yes, we are intrepid. So, carrying on. We're going to take care of that side quest, and we're going to have fun doing so. Yay, nice. And recharge. Oh, God. Yes, Mithra. Nice. Pause. Characters. Mithra. Affinity chart. Looks like you're getting the hang of me. So she has to use Twilight Striker ten times in order to get that. That'll be story progression. That's Terminal Flash three times. Uh, she has to block 10 attacks to get that one. She has to attack from behind to get that one. Uh, succeed in a button challenge during a battle. So that's where she's using a special, for instance. And she succeeds in the button challenge. She does the good. She gets the excellent. You know, because that's kind of what we need our girl to be. Excellent. So, use Mithra's favorite poo. Pa -pa poo? Ew. Oh, you nasty. Oh, you nasty. Favorite pouch items from the desserts category. And then we will unlock Focus Level 2. We are going to need Focus Level 2 later in the story. So it would help us if we knew that favorite pouch item. So uh, we'll experiment later with some cooking. Yes, she do the cooking. Yes, she do the cleaning. Yes, she not very good. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Right, so... We will head back to both... Oh, hell no. No, we'll get ambushed. So, what we'll do instead is... We will attack. We will kill. We will continue our quest. And then... We will obviously finish this quest and then continue with the main one. Or to attack three. Art. Cancel. 
Nice. And switch. Indeed. Let's keep this up. That's the way to do it. Item, gimme. That's <gasps> Crimson Slate Piece, a key item. Ooh, we may need that later. That could be important. Right, so should probably get some Ogs cores at some point, but for now, hey came. He's hopeless. So welcome to the community game. Well done, us. Yay, we get a level up. So, the maximum level that you can have for your community is level five. We have to get our community up to level two to progress with the main story at a certain point. And then we'll have to get it up to level four before we can get it to the end game. So, in order to get it up to the next level, we have to... Excuse me, I had some burgers earlier. It's repeating on me. So, if I'm burping, if I'm hiccuping, I apologize in advance because it's not good on your delicate little ears. So, we need to be... be. We need to accomplish 15 more side quests before we can actually progress with the community. So, for now... A simple errand has been completed. Yeah... And we get rewards for it. Yay. We like that. So, Hayes has actually got an affinity reward. And Laura can now craft a sword charm. Pause. Characters. Jin. No change. Hayes. Our efforts are paying off. Knowledge is power. And she gained a field skill. The green ones are the field skills. I think I went over that briefly in the last episode, but either way, uh, just in case you needed a very, very quick reminder, the field skills are kind of useful, you know, because obviously we need them to get through the main story. And this particular one is forestry. So we collected 50 collectible items. Because like I said last time, we obviously need to collect lots and lots of different items because sometimes side quests revolve around getting items. I don't make the rules. I just play the game for you guys. So, we acquired 50 collectible items, and these should serve as well, be as charm or talisman parts or as food. Knowledge related to trees mainly helps gather items from trees. So basically, if ever we find a collection point that's related to trees, forestry should trigger, and we should get even more forestry related items, which is going to be helpful for us. This is going to be good. So Og's course for Haze. Let's have a look because she's got three slots. So affinity max attack one. Uh, no, I think I'm going to give that to Mithra. Actually, when she's got maximum affinity with Adam, it means that her attack is going to go up. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, increases damage dealt by 30% when affinity is at max. Yes, good. Brilliant. Haze then. Emergency Guard 1. Boosts block rate by 10% when HP is 30% or lower. Actually, yeah. Considering that she is a healing blade, then yeah. I think it's only best that we do that. You'll find that you've got attack blades, healer blades, and you've also got tank blades. And Haze is a healer. Jin's an attacker, and I think Mithra's an attacker as well. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, Sword of the Fox, Weapon Affinity Chart, uh, Twilight Striker, Massive Melee Mithra, Battle Skills Foresight, so it's not going to tell me. Okay, but I'm just going to assume that she is. I know Jin is. Definitely. Absolutely. Undeniably. Ooh, Sunlight Eye. Increases accuracy during the day by 20%. Blowdown Resist. Boosts Blowdown Resistance by 25%. Well, we were getting knocked back. That only makes sense. Right. Uh, got it. And I am going to give Hayes one of these Sunlight Eyes as well. 
as the blowdown resist. There we go. Nice. So, now that our party is equipped, I don't want to have to go through all that again, should something ever decide to, you know, power cut. So, save the game. Oh my god, we got the trust up with Laura, that's amazing. Aren't we intrepid? There we go, and carrying on. We still have doo -doo 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 -doo, a main story to get through. So now we make our way to Yanchik Harbor. You know, like we were going to do originally. Do the side quest, come back, do the main story. Ooh. We made it. Good stuff. The two main ways of m making your entire team stronger are leveling up and using pouch items. I cannot stress the use of pouch items enough. It is a godsend. Leveling up. When you earn enough experience points through fighting battles, you'll level up, increasing the team's stats. Pouch items. Add a pouch item to a driver's pouch to empower the team with a certain buff for a fixed duration. There are three ways to make a driver stronger. You can either improve the actual character in one of two ways or improve their equipment. Improving driver characters, enhance arts, use WP earned in battle, enhance the affinity chart. You know, like we did earlier, you know, by using SP earned in battle. And improving driver equipment uh, accessories. Equip accessories you own. Weapon slot accessories can come from defeated foes as well, so there are four ways to make a blade stronger. You can either improve the actual character in one of two ways, or improve their equipment in one or two ways. Improving blade characters. Enhance art. Use WP earned in battle. Ooh. Affinity chart. Complete required tasks. Like I said in a very subtle edit, I was like, it's like a smaller way of making a blade stronger. You know, like I put a little cheeky title screen up on there, yeah? You get it. Okay. Improving blade equipment. Weapon mod. Using core chips. Mostly found as treasure. Or Ogs cores. Equip Ogs cores. Mostly dropped by foes. Ooh, that's kind of what we just did. So... When you get an affinity reward for fulfilling a condition on a blade's affinity chart, you get a pop-up notification. The affinity reward itself won't be unlocked at this point though, so you won't notice any difference just yet. When you do get the affinity reward pop-up, be sure to check the unlocked ability in the menu. If you don't, the blade does not develop. We cannot stress that enough. Please always remember to do that, players. Thank you. So, double red exclamation mark, main story. Blue question mark, side quests. And these people with stars, eh, let's just talk to them. Why not? Remember his face, he's important for later. Jack of all trades, Geo, who's currently at Yanchik Harbor. He will move. <gasps> oh, it's an up on. Oh, we stand skinny legend slim thick. Doolala. Has appeared in Torna. 
as well as the student and everybody in one particular place at one particular time will slowly amalgamate and you'll be able to easily check through this screen who's where and you know if they've got a side quest they'll have like a little question mark above them because you know that's always good to keep track of you're coming with me treasure Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Rusty slate piece. You're coming with me, treasure. Ooh, an old machine. Let's have a look. The mechanism looks ancient. There's nothing here for us now. Driver coaching received. We can take care of it if you want. Certain arts and switch arts have the ability to inflict certain status changes on the enemy. Slow your roll there, tutorial. I'll take it from here. Basically, it wants us to use Laura's whippy whip 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 palm a little bitch art, confuse a bitch with break, and then inflict topple with gin. See, we went over break, topple, launch, and smash briefly in first episode but basically you've got to do break topple launch and smash in that order and that's called a driver combo from topple onward inflicting the statuses will cause foes to drop hp potions and they won't fight back you can use this to your advantage in battle okay so roly poly community yay so blue exclamation mark side quest Side quests that we're currently undergoing, anyway.
balmy tale of Barney. Received. We are not going to set that one as our active quest, but... So, Isabella. I do want to just very quickly go over... If we press X and we go to our... Oh, no, that's fast travel. X is fast travel, minus is save, plus pause menu. Here we go. Quest log. Does not matter. All our quests that we undertake are stored here. And they can be sorted by uh, category, status, whether it's been completed, uncompleted, whether it's a main story quest, whether it's the side quests. Uh, it does not matter at all. So, I think I want, first of all to do, 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 do. just take Adam and Mithra off the team if I can. Do, 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 do. No, I can't. Okay. I just have to hope they won't kill this guy then. Right. Arlo Capybar. Get him. Wait. Go. Cancel. Nice. We got the break. Right. Come on, Jin. Hurry up. Jin, 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 Jin. Nice! Okay, so that's one topple. That's great. So, I just want to very quickly go to the quest log, go to driver coaching, set that as the active quest, and here we go. Right, so, current objective. Oh wait, hold on. Speak with Gary, Yanchik Harbor, and set out for Gormot. Oh, right, that's the main story. I thought I just set it. Driver coaching. Set as the active quest. Yes. And then go back. Right. There we go. Break and topple five enemies. You have to inflict topple with the character you're controlling. Oh, right. But wait. With the character you're controlling. But does that... So if I'm... But did, did that not just... That, that counted. That counted. Right. Right. Fight me. Yeah. Bang. Oh, we didn't even get break. No. Right. Okay. Refill. Right. Nice. Jin comes straight in. Nice. Right. So, yeah. As soon as we do swap into Jin, we are officially controlling Jin. So that's why we do get to keep the amount, like, obviously going up. So, yeah. That makes sense. That's fine. Yeah, it makes sense to me anyways. Great. Sticky Hawks. Did we ever get the Arlo Capiba for Jin? You know, the, um, affinity node on his chart. Let's have a look. Uh... I believe so. Ooh, hold on. Just to oh no we did not this one mine's eye right so he gotta kill an Arlo copy bar let's find another one uh I don't know what 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 I some oh no oh god what okay so you see how that said iconospheric Mitchell unique monster congratulations Mitchell you got a monster named after you right so Jin's nearly ready I'm just gonna. Arts cancel. That's it. Nice. Nice. Cancel. Everything. Brilliant. 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 Right. Slice. Dice. Everything's nice. Yay. That was nice and easy. You kept your power in check. Nicely done. <laughs> Aren't we intrepid? These guys should be no problem. Stay focused and we can pull this off. Break! I yeah. like the way this is going. Now the time to uh, beat this, this off. You the read my mind. Yay! Nailed it! I love it when we've got control in a battle like that. It just feels so good. Shut up. <laughs> I love Adam, but he can shut up. He's a dork. Right, okay. So, three out of five enemies. Uh, 
Get you. Auto attack three. Ha ha. Nice. I concur. Overconfidence leads to carelessness. I wish every victory was this easy. Aren't we intrepid? I love banter like that between these characters. Right, Sticky Hawks. Right, you get back here. These guys should be no problem. This is just the way I do this. Break them! Uh. Got it. See, nice. Overconfidence leads to carelessness. You kept your power in check. Nicely done. Hi. Follow my lead. Stay focused, and we can pull this off. Oh, I don't think I ever went over this as well. Right, so, you know how we've got the blue lines between Mithra and Adam, as well as Laura and Jin, right? That is a blade's affinity with their driver. See, now it's golden. That means we're fighting at maximum affinity. And when you fight at maximum affinity, it means you can attack a lot quicker, a lot more easily, a lot more fluently. Feel free to drag me, of course, if I'm wrong about any of these details. I will be the first to admit that I'm wrong about something. I'm not one of those people who's got a god complex. So, affinity chart. Nice. You can rely on me. I know I can, Jin. Hayes, no change whatsoever. Mithra. Make sure you use it for all it's worth. Caliber score pox in the Harad Hills in Torna. Right, okay. That will actually be easy to do. Succeed in a button challenge during battle. Previous instances count towards total. Ooh. Use terminal flash, story, and twilight striker. Right, okay, so this is cool. So when it says things like uh, use terminal flash or twilight striker, that's literally just their level one and their level three uh, battle special. I think, correct me if I'm wrong on that, uh, by all means, but let me just, in fact, you know what I can do? Wait, I can go uh, new, I can go to, uh, oh, where is it? Oh, that's it, I pressed this. Yeah, see, Twilight Striker, Chroma Dust, Terminal Flash, Hadron Impact, or Hadron Impact, Hadron Impact, I can't read. If it's not care, if it's not obviously apparent today, I cannot read. What's good? So, Twilight Striker and Terminal Flash, level one and level three respectively. Use those X amount of times and Mithra will gain those nodes on her affinity chart. So, we should report back to Roly Poly in Yanchik Harbor in Torna. So, let's head there right now. Quest dissolve. What's good? The suspense is killing me. The suspense is killing me. Red pollen orbs. That's important for a side quest later down the line. So it's important that we get as many as we can. Hey. I mean, it's one that you don't necessarily have to be.
Driver coaching complete. Ooh, and because obviously we completed the quest, we get the item Chrome Scarf and... Roly poly, you ain't gonna jump in my community, what's good? You know what, I am racially offended, Roly poly, how dare you? So you know what, we'll just do a different side quest. Barmy Taylor Barney, gimme. And we wanna go back that way. Hey, maybe while we're over here, it'll take us to that nice big bit of desert. And while we're in that big bit of desert, we can get to Mithra and get her stuff. Right, okay, where's that superimposing Mitchell? No, that's it. Iconosphe- no, Ionospheric Mitchell. Uh, unique monster level 50. We ain't messing around with that. We ain't messing around with no big looking stupid thing. What do you think we are? Dumb. I will help the hell not. Wow, as if we've been going for nearly an hour. Oh, yellow thing. Bugs. Aren't we intrepid? Yes, we are, Laura. We are very intrepid indeed. Tree. Forestry? Forestry. There it is. Yay. Right, so we don't need to really bother with any of these. Right, we're closer to the blue than we are to the red because obviously we're getting further away from the main story and closer to the quest, the side quest objective. So, let's take care of that. Aren't we intrepid? Spoiling for a fight. Happy to oblige. Wait. Now we're getting into the rhythm. You might find certain mysterious stone pillars on your adventure called Barney Stones. They are a feature that's exclusive to Torna. Checking out a Barney Stone means you'll have to fight off some monsters, but if you can manage it, you'll get some hidden treasure. Preparation is key. Oh my god. So, let's activate the Barney Stone and fight! And they'll just come at us like wave after wave after wave. So it's all basically like an endurance test. Oh, so the weak to ice. So, Jin. Yay, nice one, Jin. That one's not weak to anything, right. Let's go, Hayes. One, two, three. Greatest heal. Well, wind of healing, but obviously because it's the third one, it's the most effective. Okay. Hey, caliber score box. Okay, but where's me? Oh, now we're attacking it. Right, okay, great. No, we're fine. Right, uh, consume, recharge, stop enemies. Winds of time. Nice, that sounds like a fun talent art. Isabella in Tornajanchik Harbor. You know what we can actually do? Fast travel. 
So I'm going to press X, I'm going to go to Yanchik Harbour, and I'm going to press yes. This allows us to fast travel. I hope you didn't hear my knuckles just crack then. Here we are, yay! Okay, this is good. So, we head back and talk to little Miss Exclamation Mark over here. Well done, us. Always happy to put a smile on people's faces. Suspense is killing me. Ah, the first <gasps> rays of the morning sun. And just like that, all the nightmares wash away. I wonder what's in store for us today. <laughs> <laughs> 